Good morning, everyone. I have the kiddos here at the table, and we are getting ready to do a groundhog project. Um, what we're going to need is scissors, maybe some tape, crayons, um, glue stick, and a container. Now, I got this free at uh, Walmart, a big container. And also, I'm making um, rolled straws, like, out of paper. There we go, we have two. So what I do is I just um, start start rolling it this way. I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but I'll try. And then put a little bit of glue, like right along here. No, I can't do it with one hand. And then... Okay, this might be better. So I'm gonna start to roll this wooden doll and make a tube. Okay, once you got it started, then you use the craft glue. Oopsie, I think I'm running out. All right, that's the wrong side, okay. Oh, I'm telling you these crafts. All right, so I'm gonna put glue all over everything, make it easier, and then start to roll. Trying to keep my ends straight. And this is one of the projects we used to do every Groundhog Day in preschool with uh, my class. Oh, those were the days I missed those kids. Okay. And so, might want to put a little bit more glue at the ends. This will help secure it, and then wait for it to dry. There we go. Okay, and then you just slip out the dowel, and you have a little tube. Okay. Now, what I want to do with this is I want to put a little hole at the bottom of the cup, enough to fit the straw inside. So you might want to prep these containers ahead of time for the kids. I started with a um, stecco knife and uh, cut it in an X. And then I'm going to open it with the pair of scissors and maybe cut the flaps off. This is a pretty thick container. You can also do this with paper cups. It might be even easier. But um, I thought these were free, so let's use them. I'm just cutting the little tabs off with the scissors. There, I did it. See the hole? Now, the paper straw will be really easy for the kids to get in there. And they're not dangerous so in case the child falls with this. It's only paper. Okay, then um, what I did is I made a white template so I could wrap the, the cup around it because you don't want to be able to see the groundhog in the ground. So this is another um, prep. You might want to do this ahead of time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, just cut it, lay down brown paper and trace it and then cut it. Okay, we got our template um, brown paper uh, cut out. So now we're going to, um, on the tape side, we're going to tape it, roll it, roll it, roll it, so we can hide our little groundhog. This is going to be like his little hole. There. And just tape it to there. I need another piece of tape down here. Yeah, just like that up here so it holds nice and steady and now our little container is done this could be the little groundhog's hole see? okay okay let's see who's almost done with their groundhog how you doing over here bipsy she's uh yeah she's coloring her way but at this age yeah 
her coloring. This is appropriate. She hasn't even started coloring her groundhog. Let's check in with Rusty. Hi, Rusty. Are you having fun with your groundhog? <laughs> yeah, he's just coloring a ray, and this is uh, age appropriate for him too. Well, I hope you get it done. Okay, have fun. Now, um, Saucy over here looks like she's almost completed her job. Okay, Saucy, are you ready to have it uh, cut out already? Oh, yes. Okay, um, you want me to help you cut that out? All right, she's not too good with the scissors yet, but she's still learning. Okay, we have Saucy's already um, cut out and colored. Isn't she a good colorer? She can color very well. Okay, um, so then we're going to take one of these uh, paper dowels, the straws, and we're going to get some tape, and we're going to tape it on. What you want to do is you want to tape it on to um, the edge of the groundhog. It right there. I need a couple of tapes to make sure it gets secured properly. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so now we have it like that. Okay, then we're going to put it in here, the little cup, like that. Okay, all right, here we go. So we've got the little cup and the straw and hand, and it's Groundhog Day. Hide the groundhog. It's groundhog day. Does he see his shadow? Well, we'll have to find out on Tuesday. All right. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's check in on the kids. They're over here on the floor playing. And Rusty, are you teasing Myrtle? He's got his little groundhog over there. Look like Bipsy is uh, playing in the barnyard. I wonder if she's got her groundhog. Oh, Saucy's playing with hers. Cute. Okay, here's Bipsy Barbara. <laughs> what happened to your cup? Your and Rusty's cups are missing now. Yeah. Rusty, stop teasing Myrtle now. Be good boy. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. You have a great day now.